Okay, what is up everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to overclock your GPU. This method is very easy and probably the most used method out there. Um, it is awesome, but before we start I want to explain the pros and cons of overclocking a GPU really quick. There isn't many cons um, at all. It's just kind of this rumor that's been passed around that if I overclock my GPU, it's gonna shorten its lifespan, it's going to blow up my computer, you know, things like that. Do not listen to those um, people. They've most likely never overclocked a GPU before. And if you follow these steps, I guarantee you that nothing like that will happen. In fact, if you just like put a crazy amount of clock on your GPU by accident, that is absolutely fine. There's ways to fix that, plenty of ways. And most of the time, actually, the most common thing that's gonna happen, the screen's gonna go black, gonna come back, and your driver knows to automatically reset, I mean, your GPU knows to automatically reset your drivers and your clocks back to stock if anything like that happens. So your screen's gonna go black, it's gonna come back on, everything's gonna be back to normal. So that's awesome. Now. What you're really going to be getting out of this is typically a 10 to 15 percent performance boost um, for your GPU, which is awesome. And you know, it may not seem like a lot, but for a GPU, for frames and everything, that is really nice, and it can make that difference sometimes when you're gaming at higher resolutions. So yeah, um, let's just get right into it. So first off, look up MSI Afterburner here, and. You know, Afterburner is a widely known site here for overclocking. Scroll down, and you're gonna be see Combustor. You just wanna pick this up, download it. You're gonna need it later on. So yeah, just download Combustor here, and then download this right here on the left. Um, and yeah, it's that simple. Just click Allow, Accept, and then after you're done with that, open up Afterburner. It's gonna look like this, and boom, you're gonna be greeted with the screen. Now, once you're at this screen here, all you're gonna wanna do is, um, don't panic. <laughs> These are going to say zero for you. Um, so I'll just reset mine to zero. And these are also gonna be different. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is max out your power limit and then max out your temp limit. So don't worry, this isn't going to do anything crazy, uh, it's just, you know, mandatory for overclocking. And then after that, um, your fan speed you can adjust. If you notice while you're testing this that your GPU is getting really hot, then just crank up your fan speed a little bit and you'll be absolutely fine. After that, go to your core clock, or, and you're going to see, no, you're going to see your core clock your memory clock and there are two completely different things um for your core clock you're gonna go up in increments of 20 and for your memory clock you're gonna go up in increments of 100 so just make sure you don't i mean you can go up higher in higher increments but for a beginner um just start with 20 and 100 it's very easy so let's say you're fresh right you just open the app you don't know what you're doing just watching the video and just copying it um, turn these up and then go to your core clock and type in 20. Okay, that's a good start. Click the check mark. Oh, and also you're gonna wanna click profile one and then click this button so it's highlighted, which just means it's gonna automatically overclock when you start up your computer. Afterburn is just gonna open in the background here and yeah. So go up by 20 and then all you're gonna wanna do is click combustor once you've downloaded it. Exit this. Go to whatever you want, but I like to do for Mark Donut, and click Run Stress Test. Larkin. Okay. Larkin. What you can do is even have this open, just like that. You can see your clocks right there. Um, so we're clocking to about you know like that, and then boom. So now we have this donut on our screen, a bunch of fur on it. <laughs> This is pretty much just pushing your GPU to the limit. Um, as you see, 96% here. And it just, yeah, it's a stress test. So you're gonna wanna run this for about two to five minutes um, every time you go up. 
in a clock. So when I run it to 40, open this up, and then let it run for another two to five minutes. And you just wanna be looking for any graphical errors. That could be hitching, your thing could just straight up crash. Um, you could see light, like, mess like the light messing up, stuff like that. So yeah, just look up for any graphical errors. Oh, I can't talk right now, but look out for any graphical errors. And then, um, yeah, if you don't see any, that's perfect. You can just press escape here, close that, and then you would go up by another 20, so 40. And you're just gonna wanna keep doing this. It's as simple as that. Um, make sure you watch it very closely for those two to five minutes. Um, just to make sure that, you know, nothing's wrong, your card's running stable. You also get your frames here, so as you overclock, this will go up more and more. And yeah, that's perfect, you can see your temperature there. Um, like I said, if you want to, at the end of this, you're gonna run it for a longer period of time and watch your temps, and then you can adjust your fan speed. Um, yeah, run to those. So we're gonna click escape here and boom so your core clock do not worry if you only get to 40 um or whatever every card is completely different some with the same 2070 super as me might get all the way up to 160 um mine typically runs the most stable at like 120 100 to 120 um so some might get 160 some might get 40 right it's completely depends on your card so don't be like shocked or upset if you only get to 40 or worried if you get to 160 um right it's completely different for everyone but yeah your core clock you're just gonna want to do these one at a time so go to your core clock until it hits a number where you can't run it anymore okay so i'm gonna give you an actual example of that um, and clock it to something that I can't run. So I can't get to 160. So I'm gonna 160 and this is the scenario that everyone's like, oh my God. So we're at 160 right now. I'm gonna click run stress test. Larkin. Just gonna wait. Larkin. If there's any graphical errors here. Actually, we're just doing core, so I don't know if this is gonna do anything. Yeah, I just saw a glitch right there. As you see, we're already, we just hit a glitch, and yeah, look. Boom, my whole computer froze. Everything's freaking out. No, it's just gonna crash and reset. As you see, my clocks go back to normal. Thing is fine. So I couldn't handle 160. That's how you know your limit. Your thing will do something along the lines of that, your GPU. So once you're at your limit, you're gonna want to go down in increments of 10. So since I already have my stable, I would, I'm just gonna do 100, but you would wanna go to 150. So you're going up 20, but you're going back 10. To make sure, go and run it for another two to five minutes, see if it's stable. If it is, perfect. That is amazing. I'm just gonna relaunch this and do it one at a time. So uh, let's say I just tested 110, it crashed, I go down to 100 and we're stable now. Okay, perfect. So we have our core clock. Now we're just gonna wanna leave that. Now memory clock. Do these differently, um, just at separate times, it makes things easier. Now for memory clock, you're going to be able to go up in increments of 100. Um, so we're just gonna start with 100, you know, check mark, run stress tests, gonna load the data, for the data, and then boom. Um, we're in the stress test, run this for two to five minutes. As I said before, if you see any graphical errors, go down by 50. So you're probably gonna be able to get upwards of five, 600 on your memory clock. Um, and just, yeah, go down by increments of 50. So let's say you hit 600, your thing crashes, go in and try 550 and it should work. Um, in most cases, if not, just go back down to 500 and yeah, you'll be fine. Um, so yeah, that's all you need to do. Now, once you have your main clocks and you found out what your card can handle and run, you know, run at, um, you're gonna wanna get both of those and run it for 15 minutes. Um, yes, overclocking can be kind of time consuming, but that is fine. So run it for 15 minutes, uh, keep a close eye out, make sure there's no graphical issues. Um, it's harder with things like this, so I actually don't recommend you run 
that one, I recommend you go back to Donut. And then boom, um, you're just gonna watch this, right? Just watch it. I know 15 minutes is a long time to just stare at something, but it's worth it for that 15% performance boost, or 10 to 15, it really depends on your clocks. It could be less, but in the at the end of the day, it's free performance, why not take it? So yeah, it's gonna, you're gonna sit there for 15 minutes, look up for any graphical issues, and then if you're good and nothing happens, just click escape, and exit this out completely if you want to, and then you are fine. Um, that is how you, simple it is to overclock a GPU. Now, also make sure to look at your temperature. Um, I have a GPU with a lot of fans on it, and stuff like that so I don't really have to worry about GPU temps but for a lot of people you might have to so just make sure you keep an eye on your temperatures while running the stress test it will actually say it down here um, so after 15 minutes obviously this is gonna go up a lot but yeah just keep an eye on that and once you you know you're comfortable with your temps and all that then that's perfect and that's all you have to do so once again click this boom Boom, then every time you start up your PC, um, MSI's Afterburn is going to run in the background. And I really recommend um, this to everyone. And it can benefit, uh, you know, lower end GPUs and higher end GPUs. It's free performance. Take it, you can tell a difference. Sometimes um, you can notice a difference. Um, so, yeah. That's all there is to this video. It's that simple. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, have a good day, everyone. Peace out.